guys today I thought that we would take a look at the uh, Danfoss VLTs uh, this is the HVAC drive offered by Danfoss and uh, if any of you guys are familiar with the uh, VLT 6000s which is the previous generation of these uh, I'm sure that you are familiar with uh, exactly how Danfoss is as far as reliability and there's just a few quick things that I wanted to look over on these drives that I wanted to point out uh, we're currently doing a little bit of service work on this one so it is off and uh, what I wanted to show you about some of the things that I like and some of the things that I don't like about this drive is uh, well for number one I mean it is a very reliable drive we, that is undeniable we've not had uh, many issues with this particular series of drives now the older VLTs the 6000 series 3500 series that we have we are starting to experience some failure in those just because of their age and uh, but I don't have any foreseeable thought of these uh, going out any type uh, any sooner than uh, expected I think that they seem to be holding up fairly well uh, but I do think there are a few things which Dan Foss could have done a little bit better with these uh, the first thing that I want to mention is the push-in terminals uh, now these I am not a fan of I think that Dan Foss would have been much better off if they had gone with the screw-in terminals like what is on the previous series uh, similar to what we have here on the bypass you can see all of the uh, screw terminals here and that I'm gonna have to say is one of uh, the things that I do not like about this particular drive the other thing that I do not like about it is the location of the auxiliary relay wiring it is buried down in the drive I don't know if you can see those terminals there uh, there the relay is it is buried behind all of this and in fact if you are trying to do any testing on the relays it's going to be virtually impossible for you to do so just because of the location of the contacts uh, it would be much more helpful if those relays uh, contacts were somewhere exterior of this to where you could actually do some testing if necessary but other than that I believe that these are a fairly reliable drive uh, they seem to hold up well uh, they seem to be uh, working fine in the applications that we have them in and guys this is just a quick video that I wanted to do for you uh, do you have any experience with the Danfoss VLTs you may also see these uh, drives labeled as train uh, I know that uh, train does put their sticker on some of them but uh, let me hear from you guys do you have any experiences with these drives uh, what are your thoughts about them drop that down in the comments below also be sure to check out the links down below check out the rest of the videos on my channel anyways guys thanks for watching and we'll see you next time